At the 6 o'clock position, playing for RB Pro, our Blue Terran, Lil Kanin. And his opponent spawned in the 10 o'clock position, playing for Monolith Pro Team, it is EXE. There's the GLHF. And we saw that these guys had kind of similar styles with tiny variations in between. So I'm kind of excited how they play against each other. I don't know if they've ever faced off. Um, you can check illegal luck, but uh, I don't know if EXE is, is too, much, too much exposure to actually that. I can check it out. Look, in Red Bloods, by the way, is his team name uh, in the full. And X E. So let's check it out. Um, they have played each other, and <laughs> okay. Um, 2-0 for Lil Kanin and a 2-1 for Lil Kanin. So an advantage for Lil Kanin. A little bit. A little bit. Well, we'll have to see. EXE is on fire tonight, so I'm expecting big things here. Both opening very, very similar. 240, yes. 240. I think the EXE finishing his gas a little bit earlier, but not by a huge margin. So it's all about those follow-ups. EXE wasn't too keen on, on scouting early on. So I doubt that he's gonna do like sacrifice anything because of it right here. A little bit earlier on his factory now. So everything just a tiny bit crispier for EXE. But I don't know, that's a second right there. We're not GSL, it's probably not gonna come down to that one single second. And now we get to see the first uh, big change up. EXE going for the second gas early on and going for the Reaper. So that's the Reaper after the first Marine, uh, whereas Lilknin, he's going for a second Marine. And going for the second gas a uh, good 30 seconds later. And there we go, already seeing the changes in full effect. Starport is coming out, and a single Hellion in production so far. There's a tech lab, so we're about to see Banshees here. At least that's what I would expect here out of EXE. Lil Kanin? We'll have to see. EXE finally scouting with that Reaper. I don't know what he was doing before, but finally getting to scout with that Reaper. And there's the tech lab coming out for Lil Kanin as well. Has a little bit less gas, but not too much to make a big difference. So let's see. Is it gonna be Banshees for both of these guys? Nope. There, <laughs> there's the Raven coming out of Lil Kanin. And. Uh, interesting. EXE going straight for the Viking. Why did he go for the reactor then? Probably Viking then Raven? Oh, Reaper gets in there and scouts everything. Perfect scout timing. This Reaper has already been worth it. Even if he loses this Reaper now, this has definitely been worth it. And uh, maybe if he if he's playing his cards right, he might actually get to see... Oh no not gonna work but I mean he saw everything he knew okay if you have this much uh, production there um, you don't have you don't have an expansion you don't have an expansion and I knew you were research or something I knew um, and never mind I knew you had a, a reactor building here or nylon at least so he knew what was happening and I think this puts him in, the, in a good position um, he gets his rave now gets, gets the Viking and I don't know is he gonna go for banshees now I kind of... I, I'd reckon not. Hey UFO. Oh, the Hellions are ready. Just still waiting down there. 
uh, because he's dealing with the ba er, with the Hellions of Lil Kanin, which are making their way over. So he's already adapting his style a little bit, playing a little bit differently. Might be due to the map, we've seen it before, that he's mostly reacting to the map, not so much to the style of his opponent. But maybe that was just an over-exaggeration of my part. We'll have to see. Um, Lurkanin not going for an expansion just yet, and this is something that EXE needs to watch out for. He needs to keep a good eye on his opponent and realize, okay, is he expanding, is he ever expanding, or is he not? If he's not expanding, well, well, you better get some defenses up quick. And right now, just a single Banshee, a couple of Marines. That Raven, of course, is uh, always a threat that needs to be dealt with. But EXE changing his style up quite a bit, going for a lot more Hellions. Um, let's check out his gases. Main, of course, still on two, why would he change that? And he's getting a third gas here in the natural. Perfect scan timing, by the way, a little canine. Um, saw this entire army, um, saw the timing on the gas. And this is a pretty scary push right here. Yeah, this looks uh, pretty decent here for Lil Kanin. I don't know if EXE can can stop this onslaught. And there's no uh, no um, no siege tank. And even before I say that, this entire army gets cleared up, and I think this is gonna be a one off for Lil Kanin. EXE is in the same spot that Strelog was in, um, even though the the premise was a little bit different. But he's in the same spot. He's just had pure Hellion production, no siege tanks whatsoever. And now he's just gonna die to this like tiny, tiny little army, but oh so potent. One oh for Lil Kneen. Pretty crazy right there. And this looked exactly like game number one between uh, EXE and Strelog. Where Strelog was just overwhelmed by the um, 111 force of EXE. So he, he should know how this happens. And I don't exactly know why he went for so many Hellions early on, like what prompted him to, to go for mass Hellion production instead of getting maybe a single siege tank mixed in there? I think like a single siege tank would have helped out quite a bit already. So that's something to keep in mind for the next game, EXE. Oh yeah, right, UFO and Kazanix, you guys know each other. You've met before. Okay, so lobby should be up. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting an invite here soon. I'll just tap plus one. <laughs> yeah. Is it still raining uh, cats and dogs outside? Oh, by the way, the, the, if you're wondering like why I'm talking to these guys, they live in my uh, in my city. So, like, I wanted to meet up with a couple of friends tonight, but um, we decided not to because it's just crazy out there. Uh, I got quite um, I got quite wet on my way home from work. All right, come on, just waiting on that invite. Ah, there we go. Okay, we're ready. And the next map is Nimbus. Okay, uh, looks like players are about ready. And we can get started here. So far, it didn't look too good for EXE, even though he had a fantastic showing in the previous matches. And I would love to take him, uh, love to see him win this. It didn't look all too good. Maybe he finally needs to adjust his style. Well, he did adjust his style, but maybe Lil Kanin's just a little bit better. We'll have to see. We'll have to see him. I'm excited. Are these players ready? Uh, EXE is ready. What about Kanin? Come on, just waiting for you, little Danish person. I don't know if he's little, but he, he's called Lil Kanin. Does that mean anything? Sounds kind of French. 
It sounds French for uh, little, like little rabbit. <laughs> Looks like he's taking a little bit of a break here. Hmm. Yeah, you guys are right. <laughs> Rain can be very soothing, a very soothing noise. Just kind of like white noise. But if it's like yeah, you're right, Ufo, when it's when it's changing between like raining like crazy and then dribbling. And you have that change from dribble to all out typhoon rain, then um yeah. Not so not so soothing anymore. So as you've heard, we've loaded into the game. Nimbus Ladder Edition is the map. And here we are. Spawned in the bottom right side. Playing for RB Pro, it is our Blue Terran, Lil Kadeen. And his opponent, playing for Monolith Pro Team, EXE as the Red Terran. Get those scores fixed up. Oopsie daisy, that's not right. There we go. So, a little bit of a different map. Um, but the thing is, on Nimbus, you, you want to try that thing that uh, EXE just tried to pull off. The little bit of an earlier expand, a little bit of a more economical focused game. This is something that Lilkanin managed to successfully overthrow and... I don't know, it, maybe EXE can pull off the same thing here. Just Go for go for aggression early on. Get get that timing when Lil Kanin just expanded. Something along those lines. And we see a first little shift here. This time it's not quite as of an early gas for EXE. So nice to see a little bit of a different change here. And when is EXE gonna go for that gas? Or is he gonna play gasless for now? Little bunny. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Little bunny. And there's the expand. CC before barracks. Okay. Um, yeah, it's, it's definitely something you can try to pull off. Maybe Lilkanin kind of expects something like that and throws a Reaper in there just to mess with the EXE. It's one of those options you have, just put a little bit of pressure on and if he just hesitates a little bit to get that first marine out, you're already yeah, you've already doing a little bit of damage. Oh, Vilkanin. Going for the second refinery quite fast. It looks like they're switching styles a little bit. Well, not not so much in the. Um, I think I think Lil Kanin is just stealing from EXE. Well, EXE is just trying something completely different with this early expand, no gas, and finally going for the barracks now. But now nah, it looks like there is not going to be a Reaper for Lil Kanin. He's going for the first first Marine, and maybe a one on one follow up just like last game. Which could be detrimental for EXE. He doesn't get, get all of his timings right and preemptively prepare for the Banshees. Oh, oh, oh. Could be quite better. There we go, gone out to scout finally. Uh, he's not gonna get into Lil Kaneen's base. He might see a marine here or there, but that's that's about it. There we go, finally also going for his double refineries, getting another barracks, getting a third barracks, and then after that third barracks he's probably gonna go into a factory. So it's gonna be bio style for EXE. And that didn't work out so well for Giants in the uh, other semi-final that Lil Kanin just played. But maybe EXE watched that game and had something up his sleeve. Like, Maybe he has a solid idea on how to make it happen. Because for some reason Giants was a little bit... Well, he was hesitant. He didn't really 
didn't really apply all the pressure that you should versus a macking player and kind of out expand him and try to har harass as much as you can. For some reason Lil Kameen was the one that constantly harassed Giants in that semi-final. So maybe EXE knows how to improve on Giants playstyle and kind of pressure Lil Kameen into a corner. He is getting ready for the Cloak Banshee though, uh, getting three towers up, so that timing works out quite well for him. And yeah, first Banshees, I think those Banshees are not going to do all that much, but then again he doesn't have too many Marines just yet. Um, so he, he will need those Marines at home just to defend the Banshee. And it does nope, he doesn't have the reactors up yet. So this is a little bit different than the previous TVT we saw where he also was prepared against the Banshees, but he's not quite as well prepared this time. That's two more rockets. There is the cloak. And yeah. Marines are completely out of out of position. And the Banshee already got five, five kills. Oh jeez, that would be crazy. If the Banshee can uh, stop the combat shields from going down, that would be nuts. Oh, but some nice preemptive work here by EXE, getting rid of all the Marines. Silicon still has that siege tank up. So he's still going for this 1 1 1 style, just like last game. Um, I mean, it looks a little bit different, but important thing for EXE is to stop that siege tank before it ever gets to his base, otherwise he's pretty much lost already and wow it actually works out! Nice move! EXE! Stopping that siege tank from crossing the map. Still Banshee. Still up to three kills and still wreaking havoc there. So far EXE not doing too shabby here against this aggression. Of course, he lost a little bit more, but um, he's also a little bit ahead in workers. Uh, he had his natural up a lot longer. But he just needs to deal with this Banshee. This is uh, starting to hurt a little bit here. Six kills. And... Yep, this is really starting to hurt. This harassment just... Uh, Doing, doing quite a bit here for Lil Kanin, and this is some mighty army that he's sending over here. I don't think that EXE is prepared for this. Um, he doesn't have a siege tank yet, just yet. This Banshee did so much work just to delay any production. EXE has quite a bit of money on his bank. Uh, not something you want to, uh, not a position you want to be in. And then there is the next Marines uh, slaughterhouse. And these Marines are incredibly low. Siege tank. Almost in position? No, where is the siege tank? Did he have a siege tank? Oh, there's a siege tank for EXE though. And that's uh, not a, not bad. If he can keep that siege tank alive, get rid of these banshees somehow, he can stick in this game. Uh, looks like uh, Lukanim will retreat for now. This tiny little force is still up here. Can get rid of a Banshee possibly? No, not really. <laughs> not if he gets the first shot off and if it's cloaked, that's not gonna work. And EXE not even retreating the remainder of his marines. Probably preoccupied to get everything back on track at home. And that's a lot of barracks. Five barracks, so um, I think now he is in a somewhat uh, good position. Uh, he did have his natural running a lot longer. Has a lot of um, gas banked up due to the fact that he was kind of hindered on his production here. And now that that has started and he finally gets started on his uh, plus one armor and his stim pack research, he's in a good spot, but he needs to keep on pressuring. Right now he was still back into a corner, but now he wants to put Lil Kanin on the... Um, on the on the receiving end, he wants to stop him from getting a third up, um, and possibly just out expand him. That that's the whole idea here behind this, the game plan that EXE should be putting up. But right now, look, he can just sit back and just get started with his production, get more factories out, um, get armories out to get his upgrades going, 
Um, he's just not going for that quite yet, but luckily EXE is getting the second eBay and going for the Armory a lot faster than in these previous games. So that's a nice little change up for him. Yep, what the heck? What was that single medevac doing up there? Just healing the SCVs that are quite low. And Lukanin has quite a good map presence. Finally that marine is cleared up. That was a nice little scout there for Lil Kanin. And yep, we have Blue Flame in production. And uh, just two tech labs and a single reactor. He might need a little bit more than that if he wants to get rid of all of his all of his excess resources. At least once he has a third up and running. Third should be getting started here pretty soon for EXE. Fly that over. And there's the next drop coming. Is he prepared? Oh, I don't know. He has two Vikings available. Just now go for, for the missile turrets. Oh fuck, one missile, uh, one medivac will go down. Single siege tank does get unloaded, but that's not going to be enough. Now the siege tank might get in there, but the Banshees will clear this first one up. And I think that Lilkanin successfully will deal with this pressure. Yep, the Banshees are helping out quite a bit. That's always one of those reasons why you can keep Banshees in your mix later on. Army compositions uh, based around Banshees, not a good idea, but just having a few in there, just to deal with these siege tanks, that is a good idea. And double drop, uh, double side of the rest here on the right side, not doing all that much for EXE either. So he lost quite a bit in this engagement, but still, got this third up and running. So everything's still out in the open, it all depends on how Lil Kanin will choose to handle this, uh, but I think uh, he's just gonna sit back for now. Get his upgrades, um, possibly try to get a fourth out a little bit earlier than versus uh, Giants, and then go out with a 200-200 army and try to take out EXE with a bang. There's a sensor timer coming out, keep him a little bit safer from these harassment tactics that EXE puts into play. Next, finally establishing his third base, finally getting the gases up already. And, ooh, wow, look at that. Starports en masse. That's a lot of starports. What are you going for here? Lots of Vikings? Maybe a battle cruiser here or there? We've seen from giants, maybe you can actually make it happen. But if you're playing this style, EXE, you need a fourth base uh, way earlier than Lil Kanin. And you need to be constantly up on his nose, trying to poke in there, do a little bit of damage, plug it whenever you can. This is something that he needs to do, just constant pressure, constant harassment. Right now Lil Kanin is the one that's a little bit more active on the map. Even getting in there with a single Hellion, scouting this out. Sees okay, next command center is in production. And behind this. There we go. Finally, Fusion Core is being built. So this is not a kind of a single single occurrence here between Giants and Lukanin. Also EXE going for those battle cruisers. And so far Lukanin doesn't have uh, any? Well, he has a few Vikings. He has six Vikings, so not too bad. EXE already up to nine. But then again, uh, Lil Kanin has those uh, plus one upgrades. Also going for the plus one armor upgrades now. Those help out quite a bit as well. And of course, uh, he is looking to secure a fourth base whenever he can. And so should Lil Kanin. He should really be on top of uh, the base game. Looks like he's moving out. Uh, with a tinier army, and I don't know, an army based around what, really? He has a few a few units here or there. Maybe he just wants to gain a little bit of map presence. Possibly stop this fourth from coming down, but I doubt that this is gonna work. I mean, this is a tiny force, there's just a few siege tanks available. Two siege tanks for EXE. I don't see how this works. I mean, he really wants to go for that Sky Terran style, but just doesn't come into play quite now. No, not right now, not at this point. And now he's just running into the trap from the back. Couple of Hellens still moving in. 
and the Vikings are just split out all over the map. Lurkaleen can just clear up these tiny little spots all over the place. And EXE, he's just dwindling his supply, but uh, still sending stuff back in there. And he still has the upper hand on in Vikings. Doesn't look too bad. Actually, he stands in the in the main base with the Vikings as well. He's gained complete air superiority with these Vikings. Meanwhile, a uh, single Hellbot cleared out the natural <laughs> and did a little bit of damage there. 25 workers killed for Lil Kanin. And there we go, Vikings are landing, so he's gained the air superiority just to land them again. And Lil Kanin, he, he's trying to fight this off, but there's really no way right now. Quite an interesting style that EXE is, is trying to put on the table here, but oops, you can watch out. See, Chengs are being cleared, but he still has those uh, those Banshees in the air. Uh, slowly but surely, the Vikings are dwindling away, but uh, so is the Little Canine's supply. Wow, EXE looks like he turned this around with a little bit of a weird, weird mix. Still, a couple of Siege Tanks are on his third. Uh, he did lose a lot of workers in his natural, who have kind of uh, gotten back in there. Still, those siege tanks uh, dish out good, good amount of DPS. So if Lilkatine somehow destroys all building, well, no, that's enough to clear this up. That's enough to clear this up, and this might actually be the one-one. Uh, but Lilkatine, he's gonna hang in there. Still has a decent chunk of army. He still has a good amount of workers, and he has that fourth base, well, barely established, about to morph into a planetary. But there's the next next army is moving in here for EXE. Still in the deep red. I don't know if this is enough to actually clear up this uh, this good chunk of army that Lukalin still has, especially with those siege tanks and hellbats in there. Nope, this is gonna melt away. EXE, you just uh, threw away your lead, my friend. And he had a good a good lead, I right there. And now his fourth base is finally being established, but a little bit too late. I mean, Lilkanin had his a little bit earlier. Not something, not a position you want to be in as a as a bio player to uh, face a fourth base earlier from your mecking opponent. And now Hellions, oh juicy, juicy little SCVs, and there's nothing to stop these Hellions. Hmm, what a tasty meal that is. Uh, he might lose lose a good chunk. Yep, with Concussus Trail, he's, he's gonna lose everything, but that's a lot of workers going down. That's 20 workers killed right there. Or actually, a 20 worker difference, at least, for Lil Kadeen. That looked about 20 workers killed. Still, um, everything's still closing back out. But since this fourth base just now seeing the workers slide, it's gonna manifest in Lil Kadeen's production. Problem is, will he be prepared against the battle cruisers? But it does look like it. Oh, already switching to uh, the high payload mode. And those doors look really, really sweet in that mode. Alright, gotta find the right button though. There we go. That's the one. Those have some pretty big guns. Pretty big guns you got there. Oh, <laughs> a single banshee. Trying to scout out if the fifth base has been established. And I like how Lil Kanin still has that barracks over there just to scout for any more drops. They're not gonna happen all too soon. Um, I think this upgrade is called the Cardius Reactor? I'm not sure. Um, so that's Battlecruiser upgrades. Do the Battlecruiser dance. And Lil Kanin, again, a little bit more active on the map, has Hellions all over the place, scouting out if EXE actually try to sneak out a couple more... a uh, couple of more... Uh, expansions, and ooh, the Hellions get back in there! Mmm, tasty, juicy SCVs, one more time! Again, EXE can clear this up, and I think he's just waiting for this moment where he has the upgrades, where he has a couple more battle cruisers, and then he'll be good to go. Three more are on the, on the production line. 
He already has one now. I don't know if four is enough though. He lost quite a bit of Vikings in that last in that last battle. And the Hellions, will they make their way in there? I think he did scout out the single the single battle cruiser though. And with that planetary fortress, um, Lilkanin is pretty well defended here on the left side. He has a few more Thors in the mix, uh, six until now, and eight Vikings. So he, I think he knows what's up. He's even getting the Ravens, um, getting the Raven energy upgrade. And yeah, that's that's some good preemptive play here. Um, Lilkanin really preparing for what EXE is about to throw at him. EXE, uh, not too shabby on the upgrades either, going for the plus three upgrades. So that's uh, plus three versus plus three here pretty soon, but he doesn't have the armor upgrades. So that's gonna hurt him a little bit, especially against that explosive playload um, coming out of the Thors. The Thur Thorminators, <laughs> as Kazanix just said. But uh, Lukanin also doing a little bit more um, proactive planning here, going for more star points of his own. And wow, EXE just bursting in there. He has a couple of Marauders, dishing out some decent damage. And on the ground, Lilkanin doesn't have all that much. But wow, the air is just gonna dwindle away against these Thors. Battlecruisers, man, they're mighty. They are so mighty. Nevertheless, that's that's a lot of anti-air. But the SCVs can't quite get to the Thors. Still, looks like Lilkanin can't kill this off. And that, that was about it. That was about the entire army for EXE. And those Thors... Still left alive. I don't think he lost one a single Thor here, did he? Well, he lost two, but I think he lost one beforehand. Oh, and nice job. Just clearing everything off with a Hellbat. 11 kills. This is gonna rake in a lot more kills here. And EXE clears it off. But look at this beast. Lil Kameen, slowly but surely, sieging his way closer. Closer to victory with his Thors in the back, and there's the GG 2 0 for Lil Kanin. And with that, he takes the Go for SC2 number 435. And even though I would have liked to see EXE take this, man, Lil Kanin is truly a beast in TVT. Uh, we've seen it before in, in the play versus Giants, but man, this, this was pretty insane.